make it shine and pretty. All right, we have spent the past three weeks building a $2,000 C10. That's it right behind us. And it is time to finally wash it. We had a beautiful day, and uh, we got a really dirty truck, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to wash it. I've got uh, some helpers here with me. I think we've got a few more coming. We're going to try to get this thing as clean as possible. Typically, you wouldn't want to wash a car in bright sunlight because you get a lot of water spots. We're going to be buffing and waxing this whole car as well. Well, I'll be doing that. I'm not going to I'm not going to make them do that, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get all this pollen and just dirt and nastiness off. I don't know when the last thing, last time this thing was washed was. I don't know. That's a hard sentence. I don't know when it was washed. So we are going to wash it and make it clean. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to clean it? Yeah. You got your tools? Mm -hmm. You got your snacks? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. All right, we got to spray the truck. <laughs> Don't spray me, I got a camera. Alright, so the truck is mostly clean. We're gonna play with the water for a little bit while we let it air dry. <laughs> Alright, so the kids are all asleep now and I needed to get this thing in the shade so I could clean the paint a little bit more. So, washing it did a wonder for this truck, but the paint is damaged. It's old, it's sat outside for no doubt a really long time. And because of that, dirt has kind of like made its way into the paint itself and really ruined the finish. I just want to make this paint look as good as possible. Now, it does feel a lot better, especially on the sides. I can feel the paint is pretty clean. It just needs to be polished. But up here on the hood, I mean, it is rough. It's very rough feeling. Anytime you feel kind of texture in your paint, that's because there's dirt embedded in it. So we're going to try to get rid of that now. Now, it is tempting to repaint this truck. A lot of you guys know I do paint cars. Uh, if you guys have joined this build, I've, ha I've got a lot of other builds on my channel that maybe aren't popping up on your feed, like this MR2 beside me. We did a full wide body kit on it. Got an Audi build that we did. It's a full wide body, custom wide body kit on it as well. Painted that whole car, did a full wrap on it. So I really want to paint this, but I'm trying to keep it within this budget, at least close to it. Um, so we're not going to paint it. We're going to see what we can do with what we've got. For those of you that are new, I'll leave uh, a link up here. That ribbon will pop up and it'll show you all those builds. You can go check those out and watch those. Lots of watching, a lot of time in those builds. You can kind of see what we do. Everything we do is on a budget like this. So I like working on budgets. I like working within a confine of, of money. Um, it makes it easy to get stuff done because you have a finishing point. When you run out of money, you're done. All right. So it is time to get to work on this paint. I hope that this is fun. Wish me luck. All right, so it may look like I made the hood worse. You can see I'm not touching this side. I'm just doing this right side. I wanna show you guys what you can do with old, just worn out paint. Now, what I did, I started with a buffer and that didn't really work. It just wasn't cleaning as fast as I wanted it to. I don't really like using buffers. So I went back to some sandpaper. The first one that I used was a 2000 grit and then I used a 3000 grit and we sanded this paint. Now, it looks like this is a single stage paint. We'll know in just a minute. Um, but what I did is just knocked all the dirt off, flattened all the paint out as much as possible. Now we're going to go back into it with our polishing compound and what you should see is paint that looks basically new. Now there are still going to be some scratches and chips and things like that. That's to be expected. But when you're building on a budget, sometimes it's not about replacing stuff, but just making it look a little bit better. Kind of like what we did with the interior. So we're going to see if this works. I've never actually done this before. Not with an old car. <laughs> After 
after, before, before, after. That is an incredible difference. That is cool. I can see myself. All right, so that's just stage one. I have another stage of polishing to do. My wool buffer, which is what I've been using, is a wool buffer. It's the highest cutting one, I think. I'm not really a detailer, so I don't know. Um, it's uh, It broke, so I'm going to go to my foam one, which is what I normally use for my next step up. We'll see how that does. But I'm also taking the tape off so I can just do all of it. So I'm going to get this sanded and polished and caught up to this side, and then we'll do the whole thing with a higher cut, like, polishing compound. It'll bring a little bit more depth to it. I know that's hard to believe after seeing this, but it will. And then, uh... That's a cool car. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want it? So, uh, we'll move down into the rest of the car. I think it'll take a lot less work, a lot less sanding, a lot less polishing. It should be a pretty fun transformation to see it go from faded and old and nasty to, uh, honestly, pretty decent. You like that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Me too. just got some parts that I forgot were coming. Uh, these are actually not from Amazon, even though the box says that. These are from a subscriber that has sent more stuff to the channel than anybody else. Like if he notices that I'm out of Sharpies, he sends a, bo sends a box of Sharpies. If he notices I need mixing cups, he sends mixing cups. He sent me sandpaper. Just stuff that he has that he sees that we need on the channel. And he saw the truck and sent me these. I am very stoked about this. The valve covers on this truck look awful, especially with all the new stuff on there. So we've got some valve covers and we've got an Edelbrock uh, air cleaner cover, which I actually already have one of these, but thank you anyway, three wheels and a block. Uh, we are going to hang this up on the wall somewhere. It'd be really cool. Can you say thank you, three wheels and a block? Mm -hmm. Say it. Thank you. Wait, why do you sound so sad? Thank you. That was really creepy. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You're a huge help to this channel, and this is going to be awesome for this truck. All right, round one is done, and that is the hardest round by far. The car looks really good, but when you get a little bit closer, I'll take you guys in in just a minute. You can see some of like the buff marks from the wool pad and that heavy abrasive and all that stuff. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to roll it back into the shade. We're going to hit it with a finer polish and a foam wheel and that should get all of the swirl marks out. It should get most of the dirt out of the paint and it should look really, really good, even up close. So there's still going to be dents and scratches and stuff in the paint and that's just kind of, it is what it is. There's 35 years of age on this paint and it's been everything from a race car to a farm truck. So. Um, it's definitely seen its wear, but I think it's starting to look a lot, I mean a lot better. Alright. So these are the swirl marks. You see where the light is catching, uh, let's see, right here. You see this? That's kind of what I'm talking about. The next polish should get rid of that. I could probably get rid of it with the polish that I have on the wool pad. But I want to go over this with another polish anyway. You can kind of see them on the hood as well. Not as noticeable. Overall though, this paint looks really, really good for what it is. Yeah. I don't need that right now. Okay. This kind of molding line, I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. I think heat will take it off. Uh, maybe some goo gone, I don't know. We're going to be limited to our choices since everything's closing down. I cannot believe that's the same paint. So when you get close, you'll notice this thing's still got some dents. It's still got some scratches, but I mean, it looks so much better, especially at like this distance. <laughs> All right, I'm done admiring my work. We're gonna take it back in. All right, so the last step of this whole process before we can call the paint done and before we put sealer on it, so I've got this black base coat. Now, this is about $30 to get black base mixed. This is specific to this car, but it's really just black, black. I mean, it's like as black as black gets. Uh, and I'm gonna go around with just a craft brush. This is actually one of my children's paint brushes. 
and I'm gonna touch up every single area that's not black. Now this is not a permanent fix, obviously. This is just to help make it look a little bit better. Since we're not repainting the truck, I want it to look as good as possible. So no clear coat, no reducer, nothing. Just straight up black base coat is gonna go on all of the damaged areas and just kind of cover them up. It's kind of like a Band-Aid. And then once that is done, uh, we will let that dry and put a sealer coat on it and we will be done with the paint. Now, you might have noticed I have not done a lot of work on the tailgate. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with all the rust back there. That's by far the worst rust spot and it looks like it's got like a skim coat of Bondo on it. So I may use some of this base coat and chip all that off and base coat the whole thing and clear coat it. We'll see what our budget looks like. We'll see what it looks like when everything's done. If it's bad enough and if it just seems like the right thing to do, that's what we'll do. All right. Let's do it. Some have rust. We cover that up. Now I know I may get some hate for doing this, but the way I see it, I'm not gonna repaint this thing. And this is way more sightly than bare metal or rust. And you know, it'll give a little bit of protection from elements and stuff too. And it's kind of fun. Feeling a little bit like Bob Ross over here. You'll see the little brush strokes and stuff. I may try to polish some of them out a little bit. But the point is to take away like the contrast, right? So especially with a black car. You got places like this that are all chipped up and everything. You're either going to see one of two colors, rust or the silver base, right? So black and silver are nowhere near the same color. So you take that out with this paint and all of a sudden, you know, from five or ten feet, this thing looks really good. I'm interested to see if anybody says, oh, the paint on that thing's great, you know? But when you get close, you'll see like, oh, okay, it's been touched up. It's you know, it's had a life. I am so stoked on how this paint came out. I cannot believe that it looks as good as it does. This is the exact same paint that was on there at the beginning of this video. And I mean, it actually looks good, especially from like where you guys are, it looks incredible. When you get up close, you can see the spots where there's like scratches that I touched up, rock chips, things like that. But man, for some buffing compound, a buffer, and a couple of afternoons, this is incredible. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we may go over it again with another buffing pass to get all the touch-up paint buffed up too. I don't know. We'll see what I think whenever the sun is directly on it, but... I'm super happy. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this helped you. If you've got a car with really faded, dirty, nasty paint, you can do this process at home. I did with cheap tools. That buffer I'm using is 15 years old. And, uh, and you can get a really great result. I am much more proud to own this truck now than I was at the beginning of this video. And it just feels so good. It's so nice and smooth, which is awesome. So I love it. I love it. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking about this truck. I am selling this truck. That's the plan. Um, right now, I can't sell it because I can't title it because the title office is closed due to all the quarantine stuff. So I can't get this titled in my name. Um, and that means I've got to wait until all of this stuff is over with until the title office opens back up and all that stuff. So I'll keep you guys posted on this truck as we continue through our other builds um, and let you know when we're going to sell it. We'll sell it on eBay. I feel like it's the fairest way to do it. I've had like 30 people ask me uh, to buy it. So I'm just going to put it on eBay and it'll just go to whoever buys it. But that'll be after all this quarantine stuff's over anyway. So I'll keep you posted. I'll make sure I post that up. Listen, thank you so much for watching to the end. If you have made it this far, the secret words will be buffing compounds. If you made it this far, secret word is buffing compound. Uh, make sure that you post that in the comments below so I know you watched the entire thing. For you guys that did watch this whole video, it makes a huge difference when you watch the entire video. It, it does wonders for the algorithm. You guys have been doing this pretty faithfully for the whole year and we're seeing videos come up in views and that means that you guys are watching more and, and you're staying uh, engaged with it through the comments and through watching the entire video. So thank you so much. You are a huge support to the channel just by watching videos and it really is incredible that you guys will take time to watch it. Hang on. What? Macaroni?
It's like eight in the morning, dude. So if you are a really faithful watcher of this channel and you want to know a new way that you can support or how you can, how you can support more, the best way to do that is by hitting that join button. It's a nine. It's a 99 cent monthly membership and it helps us to kind of know what kind of income's coming in and so we can build stuff and predict stuff like a $2,000 build. So thank you guys so much to everybody that's already joined. Consider joining if you haven't. If you don't have that 99 cents, like no worries. Just keep watching till the end. Watching till the end makes a huge difference. You are supporting the channel just by watching. I gotta go get my son. He's stuck in the yard on his power wheels. You guys are awesome. I'll talk to you soon. Go now. Fast. Hurry, all of it. Really all fast. It. Go, 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 go. What? Oh! <laughs>